Hi everyone. Today we'll be discussing about theoretical framework and conceptual framework. Well, I don't know why uh, people are so confused about these two kind of frameworks. There is a common myth about conceptual framework and theoretical framework. Sometimes they are saying theoretical framework as conceptual framework. Sometimes they say conceptual framework as a theoretical framework and sometime unfortunately they don't know what is the difference between these two kind of frameworks well a theoretical framework basically is derived from a theory or any model or maybe this is a model itself or theory itself they are providing an idea about the framework that means in short a theoretical framework is not your framework then whose framework is this yes somebody else maybe they or a particular person uh, has given uh, an idea about the framework example uh, technology acceptance model in short we say TAM uh, Davis and his colleagues in 1989 long ago quite a long ago uh, they had come up with this model and if you are using this definitely this is a model so concept not conceptual framework but this is a theoretical framework how about conceptual framework this is your framework how you are getting it yes by doing by reviewing in fact empirical review and theoretical review you are trying to estimate the relationship of variables i mean between the variables and among the variables and you have come up with a model or a framework which is coming from your concept that is why you are saying this is a conceptual framework now what does a conceptual framework represent yes it has a few aspects like uh, it talks about basically two two different uh, aspects maybe you can say one is called a conceptual framework talks about the variables are being studied for this research and number two is the relationship between and among variables and you are trying to portray this and you are trying to measure this with hypothetical links that is why we post a research hypothesis well this one it is not confirmed because it is a hypothesized model we don't know whether hypothesis will be accepted or not accepted or supported or not supported or sometimes we call it accepted or rejected by doing that then only we can come up with a decision yes this is the finalized model after reviewing everything how to test that one yes we need data so we have to collect the data with a, a representative sample and after doing all this kind of analysis then only we can check which variable and what are the linkages are logically correct in terms of this context i mean research context that is how a conceptual framework requires to be proven with the data but theoretical framework of course this is somebody else already has established or somebody else already have established for uh, research purpose and you are just simply coding it you're just simply taking the idea from them so that one is called theoretical framework and conceptual framework this is your model and sometime we call it, uh, research model sometime we call it, uh, conceptual framework sometime we call it, uh, hypothesized framework even sometime we call it, hypothesized model for this research so that is the basic difference between these two kinds of frameworks uh, I hope now it is a little bit of, uh, we are a little bit of clear about that what is a theoretical framework and what is a conceptual framework and I hope um, this video will help us to mitigate the confusion that we had uh, now we definitely know the differences between these two kinds of frameworks